Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I don't really know what we're going to talk about to be honest, but I thought I would just have like a little city down chatty video with you all because I don't know, I was just feeling a couple of things and just thought that I would sit down and have a little chat about it and see if any of you guys relate. Um, and maybe just get a few things off my chest, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I was filming a video before this, um, which was my everyday makeup, which is probably why I'm wearing the same clothes, if you're wondering. Um, so go check that out if you haven't. God, so we're off to a great start. We're on a bit of a mess today. Um, yeah, so I really wanted to film the video that I did before this, which was the everyday makeup video. But honestly, before I sat down to film it, I just wasn't feeling it at all. I didn't want to film. I just felt really shit. Um, I don't know why. I just kind of felt like I just felt really tired and really down and um, just a bit like I cannot be bothered whatsoever. Um, and I'm sure obviously everybody feels like that. Um, but I just feel like that a little more so than usual. Um, and I think it's just because I'm just in a stage in my life where I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, basically, I'm 27 year old. I don't look it, thank you very much for noticing. No jokes, I literally have grey hairs. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Couldn't tell you. Ask me what you're doing, Caroline. I don't even really know. Um, this video is probably just going to be a hot mess of me having a probably a mental breakdown, but that's okay, because we have one every day. Um, but no, seriously. Um, yeah, I'm just at a stage in my life where I don't know what I'm doing, what I want to do. Um, and it's just really, really annoying. Um, it's something that I think about every single day. So as you know, I am a journalist. I went to university to study journalism. Um, from the ripe young age of, I don't know, say 13, 12, I want to be a journalist. All because I loved creative writing. Um, you know, in school, um, not to shoot my own horn, but I was really good at creative writing. I remember in primary school, being set tasks by the teacher to write um, creative stories. I'd be so eager to share mine. I would just want to do it straight away to a point where the teacher would be like, Caroline, I see you, let's give someone else a chance to, to read theirs out. I just loved being creative and for some reason, I thought journalism would be um, the career for me. And up until last year, no, well, not even that long ago, like sooner, um, up until a couple of months ago, I thought that's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, be a journalist. But honestly, now I really, really don't know. Um, journalism is fantastic. Um, it is such a wonderful profession. Um, I do love it. Um, I'm a video journalist. I never intended to be a video journalist. Obviously, I said I love creative writing. Um, but it was just something that happened. I didn't realise at the time, but I love watching a package, a video come together. Um, it makes you feel proud and it, like the things that I've created, I absolutely, not all of them I don't love because sometimes you make them because you need to make them in certain um, companies, not because you want to make them. Uh, Martin's just texted me, did you bring my crew to you? Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble when he gets home. I've left something back in in Stockton that he needs for the gym. That's not even my responsibility. He's a grown ass man, he could bring his own stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, journalism, blah blah blah. Um, it's great, love being a journalist up until a couple of months ago. Um, but is it really what I want to do? I really don't know. Um, like I said, I love being creative and like, I think I kind of need something that allows me to do that. Um, and I just don't know if journalism is that. So my struggle every day is what the hell do you want to do, Caroline? Because I really don't know and I'm getting old. Um, I'm getting on and I need to get my shit sorted because, you know, things are going to happen. Like, I want to have children by the time I'm 30. That, like, to have my first child, that is the... You know, that's when I want it, 30, maybe 32 at a push. I'm already getting grief from my mother because she doesn't want to be an old grandma. Sorry, Sharon, it's not really your call. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is kind of a hot mess, but 
that's just my life. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do, and I feel like I'm not the only person that feels like this. This was the point in this video. I'm not the only person that feels like this at my age, even younger, even older. Um, and I think when you grow up, you just feel so much pressure um, from everywhere, from yourself, from family, um, from social media, uh, to have everything figured out by a certain age. Especially, I'm not going to say especially women because I'm, we're not going to start that train. Um, but you know, there is pressure to have kids and have a house and you feel like a failure when you don't have any of these and people around you do. Not, I mean, I don't want children right now. Like right this very moment, I don't want children. Um, in the future, of course, but like at this age, 27 year old, where I am in life, do I want a child? No, um, it's not fair on the child. I need to sort myself out first. Do I feel like I should be having a kid right now? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, or within the next year. Um, but like I said, I don't want till I'm 30. Um, so we've still got, got three years to figure stuff out. Uh, which, you know, fingers crossed, pray for me, um, that I do. Um, yeah, like I'm rambling a lot, but there's just a lot going on in, in this little head of mine. Um, so I, just, I really just wanted to sit down and talk about sort of the pressures that we face because like I said I'm not the only person that feels like this and I do wish more people would talk about it. I've wrote a blog post about this um, topic, um, I think it was along this line, so it's carolandavies.com if you want to go and read any of that stuff. Um, yeah, I wish more people openly spoke about this because I would like to know that I'm not the only person out there that feels like in this position and like there might be people watching that know me that think Caroline you don't seem like you're struggling like or that you are clueless and it's like well a lot of people don't um like there might be like my friends or people that I know where I'm like oh they've got everything together whereas they might be in the exact same situation that I'm in thinking I've no clue where I am or what I want to do um so yeah, so that's kind of just why I wanted to make this video, just so people know that they're not the only ones who feel like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know where to go from here. Like, do I want to go back to uni? Not really. I mean, I feel too old to go back to uni. I mean, I know that's crazy because people go back to uni of all ages. But number one, I don't know what the hell I would do in uni. Teaching? I don't know. Um, uh, number two... I already went to uni and I don't want to, I don't want that three years to be a waste. I mean, I've got a degree, um, but I don't know. Do I want to use that degree? Oh God, I don't know. So if you watched my share my planner video, um, then you'll know that I had some like career goals that I wanted to accomplish, which was like YouTube, blogging and like write a book. Um, writing a book is obviously so creative and I think that that would definitely be like an avenue that I would want to go down. Um, and explore i mean i've already got like ten thousand words at the moment but i find myself just procrastinating like doing it every day because i don't i don't know maybe i feel like it's not good enough um and like i'm scared to like send it off to publishers and things because if it gets rejected then i'm like okay now what um so yeah so maybe i'm just a bit scared to do that but i mean ideally being like a writer or something that would be absolutely fantastic because like I said, I love creative writing and I couldn't think of anything else that that would be perfect for me apart from blogging, obviously, because blogging is creative, you can write about what the hell you want. Um, but in terms of making sort of an income from that and making that a job, I mean, geez, everyone's doing it nowadays and it's so freaking hard to grow. Um, like you can utilize all platforms of social media and sometimes I really just think that it's a fluke. Um, like obviously people are talented and that gets recognised or whatever but sometimes it just takes like one thing one thing for it to just like kind of blow up um, but there's a lot of competition out there at the moment not competition um, but there are a lot of people wanting to do things like that like blogging and YouTube um, it's so popular these days um, in terms of what people want to do as a career um, so yeah so I, sometimes I kind of wish that I'd have like started this I mean I did start my blog literally how old was I? Maybe like, I started before uni, so I was probably like 16. So over 10 years ago, I started a blog, but that was literally just because I wanted 
to write on start a blog um, and then obviously you do the on off sort of thing um, and then now you realise that like this would be amazing if I could do this as a job because when you're younger and like blogging just wasn't a thing when I was like 16 um, like obviously people blogged but it wasn't like a job there was no full-time influencer blogger type of roles um, so sometimes I do wish like god if I had just continued with it back then where would I be now I'm not saying that I would like be discovered and you know and things like that um, but you never know and hindsight is a wonderful thing I guess um, so yeah so I mean this video is just kind of like how my life is going downhill but that's fine it's just we're just having a little chat um, I also made a little hot chocolate for this for this occasion. Do you like this mug? It's actually amazing. It says, you are the Wilson to my gym. And if you watch Friday Night Dinner, then you'll know the reference. Mark bought me this for Valentine's Day and it's just my favourite cup ever. Um, yeah, so... I mean, I don't really know where I'm going with this video. I'm just kind of having a little rant. But I guess I just wanted people to know that they're not alone if they feel like this, where they're just a bit lost. Um, I even applied for a job to uh, teach online um, just so I could sort of like have an income um, like at home and then work from home um, just so I could like maybe pursue book doing the book and blogging and things um, I mean so we'll see how this goes but I really don't know and I wish people would tell you when you're younger that there are so many more options out there um because when you're younger i think you just think okay by this age i'm gonna do this by 25 i'm gonna be married by 30 i'm gonna have children because that i did that's exactly what i thought i was like 25 married easy kids 30 i mean i always knew it was gonna be 30 anyway i, I never put I never wanted to have kids at like 26 or 27 that was just like my choice I always knew that I wanted to like have a career first and do it that way um, but then no one really tells you that you can do all this stuff like go to uni and whatever and then you can get the degree that you want and even get a job that you think that you want and then at the end of it you're just like actually I don't want this like I want something completely different but then you feel like you're at a stage where you're too old to go back and like and try something else oh it's so hard man Kids, if you're watching, this is what you got to look forward to. <laughs> um, I don't mean to like be a downer um, or anything, but this is this is life. Um, and like like I said, I didn't want to record um, any videos today. I didn't want to do any. I just felt really crap um, because it's like I said, it's on my mind constantly. Like it's just a constant worry that I have. Like I'm such a worrier anyway, and like I have anxiety, so like things just kind of like spiral in my head. So I kind of think like, well, you know. You need money to get a house um so like you need to have this job so you can't really quit this job and then you know if you quit this job what are you gonna do like what job are you gonna get you have enough money to get a house eventually you can have enough money to have kids and then like literally this is what my brain goes through like i would say 24 hours out of wait there's only 24 hours in a day christ i mean uh, I mean, this is what my brain probably goes through, let's say, 20 hours out of the day. Um, because, I mean, I even dream about stuff like this, so. So, yeah, I mean, this has been a very random video. And a very ranty video. But this is how I'm feeling at the moment. So I just thought I would share that um, with you. And, yeah, it's kind of been a bit pointless. And you probably will not get anything from this. But if this helps just one person to know that, like, I'm going through the exact same thing that you're going through. If you're sat there thinking, oh man, I don't know what I want to do the rest of my life, then I feel you because I'm right here um, feeling the exact same thing. But I do believe that things happen for a reason. Um, I always have done. And I do think that, you know, we'll come out of it in the end. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> So I think we'll just leave this video here, I mean, as a very ranty video and I'm really sorry for this and if I've just blagged your head for the past, I mean I don't even know how long I've been sat here, then I'm really sorry but yeah, I'll let you go. So.
I'll see you later. Bye-bye.